So as we look at some of these differences in just learning styles um, between boys and girls, one thing to keep in mind is having those OTRs, those opportunities to respond. We're seeing a lot more um, data out there on Im embedding opportunities to respond within our lesson plan. So an opportunity to respond can be small things such as you start to see kind of that, that glazed look and you can say, all right, everyone, I'm on page 72. Why don't you go ahead and put your finger on the number 72 on your page? Just make sure that we're all in the same spot. That gives them a minute just to kind of re-engage and, and, and do something that is active that is very simple and, and quick. And one thing to keep in mind also about opportunities to respond, what we're finding is that uh, in, in, as best practice, you want to have an opportunity to respond, one OTR, about every five to eight minutes. That also really um, uh, aligns with what we know about male brains wanting to be active. They're going to find a way to move <laughs> every five to eight minutes. So if we can plan for it, we can help them to be more successful in the classroom.